What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Nevin the Barber and I'm back again with another barber tutorial today. In today's YouTube video, we're going to be covering a high drop fade with a curly top. So I'm going to make this very simple for you guys. I broke it down into a few basic steps. So first things first, I went ahead and carved in my first bald line and just went over it with my Bronze Series 9 shaver just to get it all the way down to the skin. And for the next step in the fade, we're going with the lever all the way open with my Gamma Ergos. And we're taking this next guideline up about an inch above our previous skin line. And then we'll just begin closing the lever one notch at a time, doing lever play, attacking that bottom skin line. And you guys can see that little by little, it's slowly starting to disperse away. So we're gonna re be repeating the same exact technique right here with each step as we go up in this haircut and I do highly recommend you guys zero gap your clippers if you haven't already just because it'll make this job right here flicking out that skin line a little bit easier so now that we have that blended out I went with my number one guard all the way open to create my next guideline in this fade and this is now cutting the hair down to a 1.5 guard length and after we have that step I went ahead and left the same guard on doing some clipper over comb just blending right up above the parietal ridge area on my client just to lighten up the bulk and you know kind of soften in those soften those dark areas into the fade a little bit I went ahead and used the wide side of my comb first and then I turned it around and used the skinnier side so this is a very effective technique to remove bulk. I highly recommend it if you guys haven't tried it already. And now to knock out our last guideline in this fade, I went ahead and used my half guard all the way open. And this is cutting the hair down to a number one guard length. And we are gonna be repeating the same steps, closing that lever one notch at a time, just to attack that next guideline in the fade. And you guys do want to be sure to pay attention to the growth pattern in your client's hair. Some people may have hair growing in different directions. So if that's the case, just angle the clipper, you know, whichever direction the hair is coming out of the scalp. That way you can get the precise cut that you need. And little by little, you guys can see this blend start to come together just with these few simple steps that we've done. And now to get into the lineup, I'll go ahead and do my lineup preparation by combing down all the baby hairs and then hitting it with the number one guard closed. So this is just laying down all the hairs flat. That way when I come back with my trimmer, it'll leave it with a nice crispy cut. And as always, you guys wanna keep the hairline as natural as you can. That way the haircut can last as long as possible and of course no one wants to push back line so just be very precise when you guys are carving in that hairline on the front and now i'm going to go over it with my razor just to get it nice and crispy this is my own razor holder right here i do have a few left in stock if any of you would like to purchase just feel free to send me a message on instagram and i'll get you guys a package sent out And as always, when I use the razor blade, I always like to stretch the skin. This just makes the tension of the blade a lot easier whenever you guys are, are bringing it across the skin. It's, it, it'll glide a lot smoother if you guys are stretching the skin. So that's a big tip that I recommend when you guys are using the razor. Just apply constant tension in the opposite direction in which you're bringing the blade. You guys can see that hairline is looking very crispy after i've gone over it with the razor blade so I, I do highly recommend you guys always in your clients back that way you can get that razor blade up against the grain of their hairline your client will appreciate it and this will increase your chances of retainment so just a little tip for you guys and to finish off this blend i went ahead and just did some no guard lever play just to erase any last dark areas that I see.
and now to finish off this haircut i'm just gonna go over the the lineup one more time i always like to do this and finish my client off with some product before i let them leave my chair just to give them that picture perfect look and get them feeling fresh as possible barbering is an art and it's all about putting in those extra details so be sure to go back and you know touch up your client the best you can before they step out your chair but with that being said that is pretty much it for today's haircut video if you guys learned anything please be sure to smash that like button drop a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you guys again it's your boy nevin the barber and i'm out i'll see you guys in the next one